Oh, hello, everyone. Um, we have two simple changes that can make a huge difference in boosting insulin sensitivity and reducing blood sugar levels or blood sugar spikes. Uh, consuming apple cider vinegar before meals has been scientifically proven to lower post-meal blood sugar spikes by up to 34%. The second strategy is simply cooling down our carb starches can reduce glucose spikes by up to 50%. So I'm going to break down the science behind these two easy, simple ways that we can implement right away. So let's start with apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar has something called acetic acid. Uh, it inhibits the enzymes that break down carbohydrates into simple sugars. And it does that by binding to uh, these digestive carbohydrate enzymes, such as alpha amylase, maltase, sucrase, and it interferes and partially block them uh, uh, before they can bind to carbs. So in a way, you can think about it as acetic acid competes with starch molecules for space. And because of this, fewer carbs are broken down into glucose, and this slows down the glucose absorption and reduces the amount of sugar entering the bloodstream. Now let's look at the science behind this. Um, Research published in European Journal of Clinical Nutrition uh, demonstrated that acetic uh, acid reduced starch digestion and significantly lowered post-meal glucose levels. And this effect was uh, observed to be similar to some diabetes medication. And so this is really, really good to, to uh, implement into your daily uh, routine. Um, now, the second uh, method or the second strategy, uh, when you cook, steam, or boil uh, starches such as rice, pasta, potatoes, uh, they absorb water. As this image here shows, they absorb water, uh, and when they absorb water, they swell, and they transform, and they loosen. And they become more like gel particles. And this new structure is very important because this new structure changes everything. And the starches become easier for digestive enzymes to break them down. And this leads to a faster glucose absorption and higher blood sugar spikes. So we want to make it harder and, and most certainly not make it easier for our digestive enzymes to absorb glucose. And the way to do that is cooling down starches, cooling down meaning letting them sit overnight, uh, a minimum of uh, 12 hours. And as the food co cools in the fridge, uh, the water begin begins, begins to escape as you can see in this image here. And as the water escapes uh, from this swollen uh, starch molecule, uh, the starch molecules uh, reorganize in a denser, compact structure. So they kind of like go back to their original form. And this new solid structure makes it hard for our digestive enzymes to break them down. And that's what leads to a much slower absorption. So slower ab absorption improves insulin sensitivity. So this is very important to note, and it improves it by 50%. So it lowers the uh, glucose spikes by up to 50%, which is significant. So it is really important to uh, uh, adopt this uh, practice because it's not only for diabetic, but it's also for whoever wants to uh, get ahead of the game and take preventive measures. So let's look at the study that backs this up. Uh, so this is the study uh, that I found that if you, uh, this was in the uh, Asia Pacific Journal of Clinical Nutrition, and they found that cooling cooked white rice uh, for 24 hours, uh, then reheating it, can lower post-meal blood glucose spike by up to 50%. 
So you can go back and check this out and, and review the study and see all the details and the methods that they've used. Uh, but just to uh, recap, so for apple cider vinegar, the method that you can uh, uh, apply is one to two uh, teaspoons in eight ounces of water. And you can consume it uh, anywhere from 15 to uh, 30 minutes prior to meals and especially carb dense meals. Okay, so thank you so much. And as always, leave your comment in the comment section and have a good day.